I am currently working on my first simple action platformer game using a simple game engine called Max 2D. If you haven't heard of Max 2D before, well it's basically just a game engine for mobile devices. Anyways, how's it going everyone? My name is Blue Game Dev, and welcome back to another episode of my devlog series. It is now devlog 4. Today's devlog, I'm gonna show you guys my progress of another 7 days of game development on my game. If you haven't watched the previous devlog, then make sure to check it out. The video link is in the description down below. So yeah, hope you guys will enjoy this video. Alright, we start off in day 1. In day 1, I was playing this game called Rune Sword. It's basically an action platformer game, which is similar to my game that I'm currently working on. And while I was playing this game, I realized that there is something on this game that I should probably add it into my game as well. And that is adding new ability or skill into our player. Currently right now, our player can only jump and attack enemies. That's pretty much it our player can do, which I think it's kind of a bit lame. So in day 1, I decided to start adding more abilities into our player. The first thing I added is the ability to dash, which means the player can now move faster into another location in a short period of time. So I got to work and the first thing I did was working on the animation, which turned out pretty good if I do say so myself. I then implemented into our player and did some coding, and it now works like a charm. Oh, uh, okay, as I was saying, it now works like a char- what the- Okay, we have our first problem. So apparently though, if I press this button right here, which basically allows the player to dash, but even though I'm facing on the left side, the player will still dash in the wrong direction, which is exactly not how it works. But I came up with a very, very simple solution. So first of all, I created a new boolean variable, which checks the player if he's facing on the right side or in the left side. So if the player is facing on the right side, then the variable will be true, but if he's facing on the left side, then the variable will be false. So the logic here is pretty pretty simple, if the player presses the dash button and the variable is true, then it's gonna tell the character to move on the right side. Now if the variable is false, which means the player is facing on the left side, and if the player presses the dash button, it will tell the character to move on the left side. And it works like a charm. I also decided to add some smoke particles to make it even more interesting, and I really like how it turned out. The last thing I did is I made a UI for the dash button, and just like that, we have our first ability. Alrighty, it is now day 2. In day 2, I decided to start working on another ability that allows the player to shoot arrows. So, I opened up Pixel Art Studios and got to work on working the animation. After that, I then coded the player so that the player can now shoot arrows. I then did some testing which didn't really work at the first try, but it's fine. So I did a little bit of fixing and whenever I press this button right here, it's basically gonna tell the player to shoot arrows, which it works perfectly. Uh, I, I think, I, I don't know, uh, but the player can shoot arrows now and I'm really proud how the animation turned out even though it's so bad. Uh, but it's fine, I'm still learning pixel art, okay? The last thing I did is I made a UI button for the second ability, and that's pretty much it I did on day 2. Okay, let's now proceed to day 3. In day 3, I work on the final ability that I'm gonna add for now. Uh, if you guys have more suggestions though, then you can always comment down below. So the final thing that I add is the ability to shoot fireballs. I made this cool animation of the fireballs, which I think it looks pretty good. After that, I then did some coding. It wasn't really that complicated because it's basically just the same script on the shooting arrow. So yeah, it works at the first try. Okay, so whenever I press this thing right here, it's basically gonna tell the player to shoot fireballs, which it looks pretty cool. Okay, now let me know in the comments what you guys think all of this ability that I added. Uh, if you guys have a suggestion though, then like I said, you can always comment down below. And yeah. Okay, it is now day 4. In day 4, I realized that having all of these abilities makes the player too OP, which I think it makes the game more easier. So I decided, before you can actually use these abilities, you must go ahead and purchase them. 
So I spent day 4 and day 5 working on the shop system and by the end of day 5 I finally finished the shop system and got it working. So you can purchase these abilities by getting enough coins, you can obtain coins by killing enemies or finding any treasure chest. So once you have enough coins then you can go ahead and buy all of these abilities and use it on your journey. And that's pretty much it I did on day 4 and day 5. Alrighty, it is now day 6. In this day, I decided to start improving the background. Because currently right now, our background is absolutely trash, which is, you know, not good. So in day 6, I decided to try and make a parallax background. A parallax is when the background moves lower than the foreground due to perspective. This effect makes the world look so much better and more realistic. So first of all, I created multiple layers of trees and by the end of the day, I got something like this. It looks pretty cool if you ask me. Anyways, I finished it off in day 7 by adding all the images into the game. And just like that, we have a much much better looking background now. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this one. I'm really proud of myself how it turned out. It's actually much better now than the previous background that we have. So yeah, I think that would be it for this devlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have enjoyed, then make sure to leave a like. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. I also want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed. We recently hit 200 subscribers, which is crazy. And it means a lot to me, so thank you to everyone who subscribed. Anyways, that's it for me, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!